GP, I know you believe defense win championships, but did you know that term started with Bill Russell? <laughs> you know Bill Russell is a Bay Area guy, and you know we know about defense out right. here. Right, right, right. So, GP, show me why they call you the glove. Ask Kevin Johnson oh, why I'm the glove. Man, I'll tell you what, yeah, man. You look, great defenders, yeah, man. Uh-huh. Y'all have That's no respect. No, for I ain't giving you nothing. Have some nothing. respect. Go somewhere. Yeah, come on. Air Canada. Get it. Okay. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, oh. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh, that's why they call me the glove. Two decades after Russell locked down the front court, another kid from the Bay Area smothered the backcourt. Gary Payton, AKA the glove. They call him the glove so quick. Until Marcus Smart won in 2022, GP was the only point guard to be named Defensive Player of the Year. Hey, look in here. I'm going to show you what I do with my kids when they do it. We get down low. Okay. You see how low I get? Okay. I get low. Okay. And then you got to move, uh -huh. move, uh -huh. move your feet, move. What do I do with my hands? Come, your hands is always here. So you can do so this. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Move that way. Oh, and then I'm right back up in here. Yes, yes. Now give it to me. Give it to me. Ha. Ah. The key to the glove's tenacious defense wasn't just his quick feet and fast hands, but also his relentless mouth. Oh, and now they bump chests at midcourt, and a technical foul has been assessed to Gary Payton. And Payton and Barkley exchange words. And this team has a good You know, saying that Seattle's Gary Payton has confidence is kind of like saying Philadelphia's Manute Bull is a little skinny. Uh-oh, that's a take. Wait, where he at? Three seconds, three. Woo! Y'all better get a T.O. Yo, 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 yo! That smells trouble. You better put your hand down, man. Green, go my way, green, go my way. Being brash and cocky, is that a necessary trait for a great defender? Absolutely. I'm going to talk crazy to him, and I'm going to lock him up, and I get him out of his game. How would you react if they didn't react or it didn't affect him? John Stockton was like that. I hated it. I hated it. He messed me up because he would never say nothing to me. Like nothing back. He just nothing. He'll just walk by me like I wasn't even there. Everybody thought he was dirty because he had picks and he did things. I think we were just not smart because right, the simple right. fact is we had video on him and we knew what he was gonna do. So we let him get into our head like I used to get in other people's head, and it worked for him. Traveling violation is called. No basket. It took me six years to really understand him. And in 1996, when we beat him in the Western Conference Finals, I really took over him and figured out how to beat him. The glove trash talked his way to the NBA Finals in 1996, where the Sonics lost the first three games versus the Bulls. Then they put GP on Michael Jordan. How did you go about guarding MJ? I didn't let him put the ball on the floor and dictate me. He played in a triangle. He was only going to come to a spot. So I would crowd him and get underneath him. I would try to take him off of that spot. So then that will mean he'll try to strip through, knock me off, and then I can get an offensive foul on him. So if you agitate him a lot, players get to start getting egos. Man, get off me. You know, this. And then especially if you're not scoring and the referee's not giving them calls, then you want to try to prove something. The Sonics won the next two games. Chicago eventually prevailed, but Jordan only shot 22 for 60 the rest of the series. Peyton with the steal and puts it down. And that apparently had something to say to Jordan. Well, Peyton and Jordan face-to-face. -face. I look forward to playing against him because I know I was a great defensive player and I knew I could play offense too, so it was always a, a competition for me. Mm -hmm.